Legion, it's Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Frostpunk in our The Tragedy of Winter Home series. So we had some people unexpectedly leave in the middle of the night, um, much to my frustration. And now we are, um, actually I'm running low on coal, just noticing that as well. But I think we should be good for the night here, maybe? I don't know. Hang on, let's go down to level two. The game is not warning me that we're about to run out of coal, but it's definitely... Man, the game didn't tell me. It normally says that there's normally an indicator of the generator saying how long it's going to take. Was that a thaw that we just had? I'll take it. Yeah, temperature just rose a little bit. But yeah, there's, um, there's normally an indication about that. So now we're going to have to... There we go. Right, let's jump back up to steam level 3, please. Order, people. Let's march to one. That was quite annoying. Alright, so we're in the process of researching flying hunter's gear, which will help us bring in more food at night. Um, but we are in a bit of a pickle, given the exodus that we just experienced. So, let's take a look at what else we can do to help people along. The hothouses are not as important, I don't think. Um, healthcare insulation could help with keeping people nice and warm. Coal mining optimization could be good. Charcoal kilns could also be good, given our current coal situation. I feel like efficient gathering as well. That's where a lot of our coal comes from. Let's see. I think charcoal kilns producing 33% more coal is probably the best thing to do right now. So let's do that. And then... Let's see, heater's off right now, but we need to turn some heaters on. We broke down one workshop because we lost just that many engineers. So, yeah, we're <laughs> we're experiencing a little bit of turbulence at this point. Uh, we do have another transport on the way. It looks like um, what is this? So this group of people left on their own. Yeah, so this is 59 workers and 11 engineers that left of their own accord. Really, really caught me off guard. So we're going to do the best we can with what we've got left. We have a lot of coal production, thankfully, in spite of everything. We do have some fresh rations coming down. I don't know if that research we just finished is already helping with that. I doubt that it is. It would be nice if it did, but I doubt it. All right, so we have, we do have some hungry people, but that should fix itself at the end of the day. Charcoal kiln thermostat researched. Charcoal kiln bellows will help that same process again. Do we do that or do we do something to help people feel better in other ways? Or do we do, we do a generator efficiency upgrade? Do we do improved heaters? Do we do emergency repair? Oh, you know what I bet this is? I bet this is an ability. I was talking about this a few episodes back, like not being quite sure how this works. Allows us to advance generator repairs by 10% by using wood and steel. So we can basically say, by, we can jump them along by using a certain amount of wood and steel and get, you know, get that problem fixed faster. I think what I'd rather do first and foremost is just have the efficiency upgrade because we've waited a long time for that one. It would be nice to go ahead and get that done if the researchers can do a decent job. It's going to take a while, but the agitator hopefully will help with that. Will the agitator... Hang on, is there a special ability that I can use on this thing? or is it? No, it just runs passively. Let's go ahead and have one more person work this guard station. And then the propaganda center can probably use its ability. Yep, let's go ahead and raise hope that way. Three hours until the next transport arrives. That should be good for, for people. Uh, we need to have the foreman run their ability at the beginning of the next workday for the factory, and then we might be able to finish getting the prostheses built here. What have we here? The truth must come out. Sir, a group of engineers is here. They want to talk to you in private. We figured out why you sent our friend and his family to the Dreadnought. You lied about the other city. We kept your secret to give you a chance to come clean, but if you don't tell people the truth, we will. Um, four engineers will be killed, or agree to tell the truth. Wow. That's quite a choice. The consequences may be dire. Or four engineers will be killed. See, the thing is, I need my engineers.
that this is for the good of everyone. And if this doesn't come out, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna silence them. Because if this doesn't come out, um, then the lie was to give people hope. And the, the, you're being irrational. Like it was to keep people sane and calm while we try to evacuate everyone. If you create a panic, that could jeopardize everything. And they're, I mean, they're trying to be moral. They're trying to be um, thoughtful, but they're not considering the political side of the decision that was made. So let's say silence them. All right. Well, that was dark. It says the repair station is still fully staffed, which makes me happy. Let's take a quick look around and see. Yeah, one of our infirmaries. Oh, we have an extra engineer, though. Where did we get four more engineers? That's weird. I mean, I'm not going to complain. That's awesome. I can have more people working in research until we are absolutely done with the research that we need to do. There we go. Evacuation transport has reached the Dreadnought. So now we have uh, several kids to send to the Dreadnought. We need to send a little bit more coal. Um, so need to send some more people to the Dreadnought. Need to send some more food rations. Yeah, a lot more food rations, actually. Um, I wasn't expecting as many workers. Mm. This gathering post, some of these gathering posts just might need to be shut down permanently. Because I don't know that we'll ever be able to fully populate that one again. So let's go ahead and dismantle that one. And that gives me three workers to put elsewhere. I really hate that... Yeah, we definitely need to run these for our sick people. I really hate that we are... Oh, what was I going to say? What was, the, what was the thing that was bugging me that when I was looking right at it? Oh yeah, that we don't have enough... That all those people left, the main thing I was really looking to do was bring in a ton of food, starting like right now. And I had extra workers to do it with, and then they left. I mean, that's 59 workers. Those are my extra workers, you know? And now it's like, well, crap. That totally took away the benefit of researching... Um, well, it didn't take away the benefit. I still have the extra workers. It still, you know, in order to have these fully staffed, you know, it, they, it still doesn't require the full amount. Maybe the best thing to do would be... Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have them not working at full efficiency. They might actually be able to bring in more food that way at the end of the day. So let's build two more. I'm pretty sure I've dismantled a few that I shouldn't have now considering this, but that's okay. So these should get built and then we should be able to send people straight out. All right, so we need to go to the evacuation center to set up a new transport. I know that much. Let's say eight here. All right, the blimp did not take off. I'm a little annoyed about that. I was really hoping you guys would leave tonight, but you're not. All right, so these medical posts are most likely never going to operate again. Let's go ahead and break those down. And we need the cookhouses running for obvious reasons. You can go ahead and turn the heater on. Now the question is, will my coal last the night this time? The game is not warning me about dropping coal amounts. Let's go down to level two just to make sure that that doesn't happen again. I don't know why it stopped. Maybe it's part of the malfunctioning generator thing. Maybe that's, maybe it's meant to be thematic in that way. Right, back up to level three. We have here, desperate escape. Sir, with a mood in the city so low, people are desperate to flee for the dreadnought before it's full. Some of them have raided the stockpile, stealing 25 food rations and 207 wood to equip themselves for the journey. Should we stop them from leaving? Discontent is too high or hope is too low. <sighs> Man, people need to freaking chill. Like, I've got this on lock. This is, honestly, this feels a little bit... No, I get it. I get what it's simulating. Like, you're you're dealing with a desperate population, but at the same time, like, I was really hoping to save everybody. Like, the, the people in a new home don't re don't rebel against you this much. Those citizens in the original storyline are much hardier than this. These guys, these people are freaking out over arguably less of a, of a problem. Um, the people in a new home don't have anywhere to go, you know? Like, they, they have nowhere to escape to, and they don't rebel this much. These guys have a place to escape to, and they're flipping their shit. So, um... <sighs> oh. 
I'm going to use lethal force. People will get hurt badly and some may die. Three people were killed. 15 people were wounded. I hate, I hate to do that. I really do. But, I mean, come on. All right, so we definitely need more cabin space. Right, and that's going to require an additional steam core, which means I'm going to have to break down an infirmary or something else that requires a steam core. Building-wise, what... What uses steam cores? I know infirmaries do. A wall drill does. I didn't know a wall drill did. I should know that, but... Um, if we broke down the wall drill, the question then becomes, where are we getting wood? That's the problem with that. I don't think we can afford to break that down. I can go ahead and plug that worker in there, though, and turn the heater on. We go ahead and use patrol. I'm hoping that people eat. We have a lot of hungry people at the moment. That heater should be on. I don't know why these heaters are off. Two of our people died. Yeah, I saw that. All right, so we have to send all the children to the Dreadnought. We only have two days left to do it. So at this point, I pretty much have to pull the kids off of their jobs. Oh man, this is getting rough. Because I have to send... I, I have to act like right now, because I have two days left to do it, and the, each transport takes one day. So... And it's, I have more than 50 kids that need to leave. So this gathering post is going to get shut down permanently. I really hate that those people left. I am furious at them for leaving. It's absolutely stupid that they left. Alright, so let's take those kids away. We got workers here. Take those kids away. Those kids away. Yeah, this is our coal production. This is bad. And then where else do we have child workers? Wait, what now? I guess some of them are... Hang on. Yeah, we have several kids being treated. That's annoying. That's not good at all. You know, several kids being treated for various illnesses. Um, what I could do in order to help with that, we are at a point where we don't need research as much. I could go ahead and break down my other workshops, and I could just let the one workshop do its job. That way we have extra engineers to help heal people faster. And then, yeah, I forgot the engineers are also required to run the propaganda center, which probably is not as necessary going forward. Let's have six people work that. And then factory-wise, we are still producing seven prosthetics. How many prosthetics do we have on hand? Two? Tell you what, let's do three more. And then once we're done with those, let's run... Um, it's eight o'clock, so we finally ran that at the right time. Let's run Foreman. And we will try to run Foreman at this workshop today as well. I'm going to have this workshop fully staffed. Now, I'm going to break down this hunter's hangar, which annoys me more than I can express. The guard stations as well um, probably need to go. It's going to be harder to maintain hope without them, but we need those workers in the guard stations. So let's go ahead and take those down. We need to start thinking in terms of where we can get workers to replace the ones that we lost. We need our coal production to stay up because we still haven't sent all the coal that's needed and we need to continue to power the generator here. So, kind of important. And how many extra works do we have now? All right. We have three engineers, so I could go ahead and plug two more engineers in here. Once those prosthetics are done, that'll free up five. Let's 
go ahead and s step you down to uh, seven workers. I really don't like this. Don't like it one little bit. So we are not going to be able to send all of the kids in one go. I think probably the best thing to do here, we have 43 available kids. We need to send 52 more. So I'm not going to, I'm going to have some of the kids keep working on coal production for now. But, but I do want to send 30 on the transport. Or maybe even 22 on the transport. Tell you what, let's send 27 on the transport, which means I can have five kids working here alongside these adults, and that'll help with our coal production. So now we are going to plug... Yeah, let's say 33. That's fine. Or th what I said, was I going to do 27? Yeah, let's do 27, and that means I can have... this gathering station fully worked. Okay, so 27 there. And we could technically send some more people along, but... Man, yeah, it requires so much steel to get this next deck built. We're just trying to save as many people as we possibly can. And provisions-wise, we are going to have the ability to send some food, but there is definitely a shortage right now. I need to wait two hours. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send it right before 10 a.m. We're gonna have to micro this. I'll send it at 9.30 a.m. You know what, I'm going to send it at 920. I just, I don't want it to pass that mark. All right, so we don't have a lot of coal to send. Really annoying. Let's just send 240. I was hoping to be able to send more. God, those people really screwed me over. I send some rations, but we're just not cooking fast enough to send more in one go. People are being stupid. Incredibly stupid. And I need a steam core on the next transport, but for now, I don't think I've got anything more to send. Let's go ahead and round this up to 500. I could send one more kid, just to be nice, and I could send, you know, those workers. But I feel like I need the workers that I have, for now, to keep food coming in. So, I hate to send a transport with just, I, I need as many people on that's the thing. I need to ha have, like, every transport as full as possible of, of every resource, which means probably one of these hunter's hangers needs to get shut down, or what else could be shut down? Oh, wait, we've got a guard tower here. We need the cookhouse. Oh, we've got a guard tower here, too. Forgot about you. Well, that gives me more people to send along. Alright, so that's 17, and we have room for five more. I don't like this. Alright, we're gonna have to drop these down to seven each. You're all jerks. And I hate you. Why did you do that? Charcoal kilns. We will have running at three workers each, which means we now have a full transport. We're sending as much as we can, including the kids. Okay, so it's 922. We do have a little bit more coal available, but we don't have the ability to send it. So let's go ahead and send this transport along. Okay, um, this is incredibly challenging. Let's see. The repair station still counts as fully staffed. So I just pulled five engineers from that thing.
Is there anywhere they could go? I mean, I could have them work this gathering post for the time being, but I'd prefer engineers worked health-related jobs. How many patients are here and how many patients are here? All right, so we can go ahead and break down this infirmary. That'll give us a steam core, which we need. So let's go ahead and break that down, which does give us some engineers, thankfully, which we can plug back into the generator. It says we have zero hours left. That's uh, freaking me out, but I know why it says that. Generator efficiency upgrade. That's going to be good for coal retainment. Oh, we got kids working this thing. I didn't notice that. So I can have, um... Hmm. Where do I have workers still in full force anywhere? Tell you what, let's have... Engineers pop in there, and then we're going to take four engineers out, or four workers out. There we go. And those guys will work there. Now, we are still converting raw food, so I need some extra efficiency. Absolutely. Let's turn the... the one thing I'm noticing, too, is that I can probably afford to start turning some heaters off to tell you the truth. Let's see what else we can do with that in mind. Yeah, that's a very cold workplace, I know. Don't really have a choice. Yeah. This will help me save some coal. So that one's not quite heated, unfortunately, by this, most, by this closest uh, steam hub. Didn't notice that. I think it needs to be here rather than there. Let's go ahead and move it with that in mind. All right, so we are doing not so great with our coal situation now. Oh, God, this is rough. Probably need to drop down to steam level two, which means people are going to get colder. Some kids that can work. Yeah, we're so close to being able to send all the kids to the Dreadnought. I made that promise. Dreadnought food store is too low, so there's too little food in the hold the Dreadnought to feed the people already aboard. If we set out like this, some of us might starve during the journey. Uh, let's take a look. I know, I need to send more food, but again, people left in droves. I mean, you did this to yourselves. I had the situation under control. The Dreadnought can't produce food. We can so you guys should have thought about that before you marched off into the darkness. And we have another guard station here. I totally... I, how do I miss these? I thought I broke them all down, but there's two here that I still haven't broken down. I really thought I broke them all down. Okay, that frees up some workers, thankfully. Now, that is going to make hope harder to maintain. Which really sucks. Not a fan. All right, so what I can do with that, since we got some extra workers out of it, is I can jump the amount of people working in these back up to eight each, not nine. Because, I mean, if, if food is the, the thing that we need, then they're going to need to bring a lot back in the next round. And then this charcoal kiln, I probably need these running full efficiency. Converting as much as they can. Okay, now I'm still waiting to build this new... Okay, good. They're running, but... Yeah, research is taking forever now, which makes me sad. I didn't have a choice, though. We have built all the prosthetics we need. So I'm going to go ahead and break this down. This will give us a steam core as well, which is nice. I didn't realize that the factory used up steam core, but it did. So that's helpful. Um, the propaganda center, I'm going to keep at just six engineers. 
the repair station I'm going to try and bring up to full staff. Well, let's just, let's have it run at 20 instead. We have this infirmary going and it's currently full of patients. The issue is getting everyone healed. It looks like there are no kids left and that's good news. So what that means is that we have awesome. Yeah, we're going to have, we're going to be completely ready to send the kids off. Let's see where the remaining child laborers are. Here at this gathering post, let's take that away, add some engineers instead, because we can afford to. That means there are nine kids remaining. There are still child laborers. I know there are. Yeah, here they are. Ten here. Holy crap. Yeah, see, that is going to hurt my coal production. I didn't need that. And I don't have any available workers to offset that at the moment. How would I do it? The public house? Oh, God. Sorry, people. I'm so sorry. I mean, we're, we're breaking down the city. We're, we're based, we're, we've built up the city, now we're breaking it back down. It's so weird. Extra worker. Extra worker there. Yeah, the efficiency on these buildings is just crap. One thing I can definitely do to help with the coal situation is use foreman on my coal mines. Should have used it sooner in the day. I could also use... I could use foreman on every building I have, honestly. It just costs 10 food rations, so it does, it does eat up a lot of food but at least it would help with the coal situation. I used it on the charcoal kilns. I also have some research I can do that will improve gathering efficiency. Let's turn that heater on. That's a little bit too cold of a workplace. Okay, all of my gathering posts are now a little bit more efficient for the next day. All right, I am really hoping... Where are my remaining child laborers? I need to look at this, and right now we have 24. Yeah, that's exactly how many I need to send on the next transport. So we will get this done, but it's going to be in the next episode, and we're going to have to see how things play out after that. That's going to be a huge promise kept, which will help with hope, but um, I'm nervous still. All the same, I am nervous. We're going to have to see what other random shenanigans the game wants to throw at me, because it's already done quite enough in that regard. Thanks very much. But for now, I'll stop here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.